Hello, hello. <clears throat> From a very hot Czech Republic. It's only just occurred to me to make a video. It should really have occurred to me a couple of weeks ago because I've just done a really good trip that took me into northern Germany, southern Germany, back into France, back into Germany, into Austria, across into Hungary, across the Danube, into Slovakia, out of Slovakia, into Czech, and then all the way through Czech, right up to the border, heading out for Dresden, and that's where I'm parked on the Czech side, near that border, the last services before the border, and heading out back up into northern Germany. Um, it's Thursday today, I got here yesterday, it's Thursday today, there's a driving ban in Germany today, hence the reason I'm parked on a Thursday when I can actually drive, or well, can't actually drive because of the ban. So, I'm in a Czech service area, that's my foot, a Czech service area, on there. that's where I am. Not ideal, it wouldn't be my first choice really for parking, but uh, it is what it is I suppose, does the job. So, yeah, I won't be leaving here tonight. <laughs> when 10 o'clock comes, when the ban finishes tonight, there'll be a mass exodus from this place and it'll empty. At the minute it's absolutely rammed. And there are still trucks turning up trying to find parking and I think that's just really bad planning on their part because it's the last services before the border of the country that has the ban. So I don't think it's reasonable to expect to be able to park in here, to be honest. But people are still doing it. They're gonna find themselves up at the border and more than likely parked on the hard shoulder up at the border until tonight at least. So, but I won't be leaving here till tomorrow morning. So yeah. Uh, last video was really, really well received. It was it was really good. I thought I might get a bit of grief for it, but I didn't. In fact, I got loads, loads, loads of positive comments. So, a friend of mine had an idea that it might be a new direction for the channel to go, because I'm restricted it with what I can actually film these days. So it might be a, a way for the channel to go that if there's anything you want me to talk about, you know, you, you want to ask me any questions about day-to-day -day stuff, you know, how things are done, or how I do things anyway, not, I suppose maybe not how things are done, I'm not saying I'm right, but how I do things, or day-to-day -day life, or anything really, any, and driving abroad, driving in the UK, although I'm not great on driving in the UK. Um, yeah, anything really. I don't know what. I don't know what. You know, that cleaning questions. If, if I know the answers, I can do a little short video on it, then I will. So, if there's anything you want to know, drop it in the comments. I'll have a look. And if I can do a video on it, I will. So, oh, I, in fact, I'll answer a question now that I got asked recently. For all these, where's my finger? Where's my finger? It's there. The boxes, tall boxes. So, Czech, Austria, Germany. I am aware that that can now be set up. Sorry, that can now be set up to do the job of that. But that wasn't set up before I had to go into Austria. So, I've had to get that. So, Czech, Austria, Germany. Norway. Focus, Norway. That's the rain sensing thing for the truck, lane departure stuff in there and all that business. Top one does three countries. Why isn't it focusing? Oh, I might be having my finger too close. It's trying to focus on the finger. Yeah, top one does France, Spain, Portugal. Bottom one does Italy, and that thing does Slovakia. I've also got a big stupid bulky one for Belgium, but I only have that plugged in and in the screen when it's in Belgium. If you're... <laughs> If you're from the Belgian authorities and you had anything to do with the box that we pay the road tolls on, you're an idiot. It's five times the size than it needs to be. It's ridiculous. 
do it again. <laughs> so, anyway, there you go. A little rant about the Belgian toll system I wasn't expecting there. Um, if you're not, if, yeah, if, you, if you're one of the non-European, or maybe even like non-lorry driver viewers, which is really what I'm targeting, um, the, the non-lorry driver viewers, I really like it when people who aren't lorry drivers watch the videos, because that was one of the main goals, was to show people how we get out and about and how we do things. So anyway, if you if you if you're one of those, this thing here, this this pelmet, very popular, very very popular, European thing. Lords people have them. I really like it because I like the way it closes the screen in. Um, I like, I don't like a big open screen. I like the screen to be really closed in from the top. I really I really like what it does. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, is there anything you want me to cover? There's my telly. I fitted that. I put that in. Second week I got this truck. I switched it on to see if it works. It did work. I switched it off. I've never had it on since. I pretty much now only have it up there to cover the bracket up. So I hate all this. I move all that. I hate being able to see stuff out of place. Although that that's it's not for breezing there though. Well, it was never Febreze, it was Tebro, Tesco, Tebro, Tesco Fabric Conditioner. But now what it is, is about an inch of fabric conditioner, like you would use in your washing machine, and the rest of it filled up with water. Which is just as good, if not better, than Febreze or anything else like that you might purchase as a fabric freshener. Plus you can choose your own smell from the hundreds now the hundreds, tens of variations of fabric conditioner you can buy in the supermarket. So that's what that is. Um, pleated curtains. Curtains won't be pleating. Look at that. That's that's wrong, that is. Look at that. Did that in a rush, didn't I? Is the other side any better? Yeah, the other side's a bit better. Got me. Got me inverted down there. In there. Company fit all that for us. And the gas alarm. So the company fit that for us as well because they're really good to us. They really look after us. So a big inverter. So plug all my stuff in it. The gas alarm is it is hang on, it is an unfortunate reality that people do get gassed. It's very very rare. That's a whole subject on its own. That really. I have quite strong views on that, but it is a is a reality that that does very occasionally happen. So they will insert a gas into the truck while you're asleep to keep you asleep, so they can break into the truck and basically gut the thing while you're you're in there with it, and you won't wake up. But with the gas alarm before the gas levels get to anywhere near the toxicity levels that's needed to keep you asleep, that gas line will go off and trust me, it is really loud. There's no way that won't wake you up, so you're fully protected from that. So, yeah. Um, oh, watching this, this is what's made me do this video. Watching this fella, it's cold. The little guy Shaw is an American lorry driver and obviously does YouTube videos. Really good. Does really long videos. This one I'm watching is an hour long. Um, like one episode's an hour long. And he's just got a new truck, a VNL 860 Volvo. And it's really nice, it's a really cool truck, but he makes really good videos. He's got loads of subscribers, he's got about 450,000 subscribers. Where's my foot again? Hello. Yeah, he's really good at making videos. Quite jealous of his editing capabilities. I haven't got the patience for that. I haven't got the patience to learn how to do it, to be honest. So that as well, that thing. Oh, it's a sticker, sticker behind it. You can't just see the stop at top of it. There, that is a sticker. Euro emission sticker for the first in the Mont Blanc tunnel. That box there, 
that looks like it should be off a tractor possibly is off some sort of farm machinery is the answer to controlling my air suspension on the trailer from inside the cab don't get me started on that that was a major issue with me when <laughs> when I got this truck and saw that that was a major issue for me that I was not happy about that at all still not happy about that it looks stupid you know you buy really expensive truck and all the leather and all the electronics in it and then you stick that in the window man anyway <laughs> um, oh get microwave as well all fitted all factory fitted stuff well factory fitted the dealers fit them but it's, it's the same thing in it I suppose sunroof even though I always have the blind over it so yeah if yeah it's, it's sort of the main topic of the main reason I should say anything you want me to cover anything you want me to talk about drop in the comments I'll have a look at it and do my best thank you